सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन सो यस्टरडे वी हैड कॉन थ्रू वॉट यू नो हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट things within ourselves how we are going to look at the body and some details regarding that and in that context we had also um, given a thought about what we are going to uh, what we were going to do for our reflection yesterday and that was if we can observe that we are largely paying attention outside most of the time we are paying attention outside but then now from time to time we may also be observing within so while doing many things outside were you also able to observe that some something is happening within you that the thoughts are going on within you and if you could observe any thoughts then were you able to see that these are going on all the time or were you able to see that they are going on only sometimes so i would like if possible for um people from batch 6 to respond to this because the others have already been through the exercises but from batch 6 if anybody would like to share this um people who have joined for doing the exercises the first time if you would like to share regarding this if that you were you able to observe that even though we are largely paying attention outside something is going on within also some thoughts may be going on within you can raise your hand and mention yes or no even even if you are not able to see or if you are able to see something going on within we can discuss it
So to see, we said, you know, we are the ones who are seeing. We are using the eyes as a tool. The eyes, the gross eyes that are there in the body, we are using that as an instrument as and when required. But we can see much more through ourselves than just the eyes. Even when we see through the eyes, the information that we get within us is much more than the eyes the gross body can show us. Somewhere we are doing a lot of um, you know, assessment or a lot of, we are able to observe many more things through ourselves than what is being shown to us through the eyes. Like that simple example we gave of something that we are seeing, whatever is not facing us, that part also we are able to image it or we are able to get an idea of. And many other things, you know, only the form we may be able to see through the eyes. But the deeper aspects of that form, the property of that, how it interacts with something else, how um, it is related to other things. There are many, many deeper aspects that we can see through ourselves, but not through the gross body. And we'll come to that. So in exercise one, we'll be looking at the self by the self, consciousness, observing the consciousness. In exercise two, we'll be seeing the body by the self, that is the consciousness, observing the material, and of course, the outside also, our interaction with the outside. And ultimately, the third one, seeing the coexistence, the space. This also will need to be done by the self, but we need to develop the competence for this. Yes, next slide. So we started with this yesterday and we said that, you know, a lot of times we have been, we noticed, and this is what we had been reflecting on from yesterday also, that a lot of times we are focused on the outside. We are paying attention outside. And when we interact with others in our relationships, we have assumed something about the relationship. And based on those assumptions, we recognize the relationship and fulfill the relationship from our side. Now, those assumptions, we think that this is what I know. But do I really know or they, are they just assumptions? So can you open up this slide, please? So now, when we start paying attention inside, when we are working on the knowing part, when we are working on the right understanding, when we are working on understanding the harmony at all the levels, and ultimately being able to see the harmony within, now that would be knowing. Now my assumptions can be set right. Whatever I have assumed, is it really like that or is it some assumption that is not in line with it that I can only see only when I truly know. Otherwise, I will keep believing that this is what is true. So we keep using the term right understanding, my right understanding. It is not about my right understanding and your right understanding. There is only one understanding. That right understanding is the same for all. So what is true, what is the reality is only one. But how I see it, that makes all the difference. So if I see it a certain way, then I call it my reality. Somebody else sees it a different way, they call it their reality. But the reality is only one. It's not different for different people. But we assume it to be different. Therefore, it looks like we all, you know, have our own version of the reality. But actually, the reality is one. And we have the potential to be able to see that reality the way it is. So that is the ultimate effort. 
as we keep paying attention inward, we will notice that we can pay attention inside. At the same time, we can also pay attention to the body. At the same time, we can also pay attention to the outside through the body. And now when we interact with others, with this knowing, then in the relationship outside, our recognition and fulfillment will be based on the knowing, will be based on the understanding, not just on our assumptions that were without understanding. So that will make all the difference. So initially we were paying attention only outside. Now what is being said is we will pay attention inside also. And as we are paying attention inside, we will also look at the outside. Not that we are ignoring the outside. Not that you have to go somewhere and sit down somewhere and just be by yourself and not do your activities. But we will pay attention inside first. And with that, we will pay attention outside also as and when required. Because you will notice that we need to interact with the body and with others from time to time, not all the time. But this dimension within us, this activity, the activities that are going on within us, they are going on all the time. And ultimately that is what is deciding our happiness and unhappiness, as we will see. So next slide, please. So exercise one is about observing the self by the self by looking within ourselves. Again, this is just one way of looking inside. It's not the only way. So this is just one way of looking within. There was a uh, note on the chat about sharing the slides. I think the slides are already available. Tarapa Sanaji, if... Uh, you can you can share that information later in the group. Uh, recordings are available, slides are available. So this is just one way of looking within, not the only way. And whatever steps we are mentioning in this exercise, these are one possible set of steps, not the only set of steps. There is a very big difference. When we say this is the only way, now you are negating every other way in tradition. So that's not what is being said. This is one way. There are many other ways, but we are looking at this one way for now. Yes, can you uh, go further? Yeah. So to see or to observe, do I need to use the eyes? to see the self, for example, to see the imagination. Do I need to use my eyes? You can answer in the chat. You will notice that we are able to see. Can you see your thoughts with your eyes closed? So I don't need to use my eyes. And yes, we can see the thoughts with the eyes closed. These are the answers that we are getting. And it is quite obvious for anybody to see that we can keep the eyes in any position. You can keep it open, you can keep it closed, you can keep it half open or whatever you want to do. Yet you can see your imagination. In the beginning, when we are new at it, it may seem like we are getting distracted because the, when our eyes are open, we are seeing many things outside and that may be um, making it or it may seem to be difficult to focus on our thoughts. So that is why in the beginning, it is suggested that if you are having difficulty, you can sit in one place quietly, close your eyes and then try to observe your thoughts. So that at least outside input to some extent, 
is reduced and you can put your focus totally on the thoughts within but once you become comfortable with that then whether you keep your eyes open or closed whether you are doing your activities or not you will be able to see your thoughts and ultimately your feelings also similarly if we ask the question if we close our eyes we can pay more attention um, this is what nirmala ji is sharing but we'll see that's this is what it may seem like at first but ultimately we have to be observing what is going on within all the time we can't just do it one you know half an hour in the day but the rest of the day if we are not aware then no use because you may lose your temper somewhere and you may get angry somewhere else and you may be disturbed somewhere else and so many things so ultimately we need to observe all the time and we will see that we can do it that possibility is there that potential is there do i need to take any work from the body for example when we ask you know can you see your feeling do you need to take any work from the body no you don't have to take work from the body so you can keep the body in whatever position seems comfortable for you so you know you don't have to put in any, uh, you know sit in any particular posture in order to see the feeling within you your eyes can be closed or open you could be sitting you could be standing you could be lying down and you can still observe your feeling your thoughts in any posture next slide please so these are you know uh, very just as an overview this is the seven steps that we'll be going through one by one as we do the exercise so we'll be looking at the whole imagination the feeling in that imagination seeing whether you are happy with that feeling or not happy who is deciding it on what basis you are deciding it which feelings are naturally acceptable to you and then seeing if you can have the feeling that is naturally acceptable to you so all of this we'll be doing next slide please this is just a brief like a summary or an overview of all the steps so i the self the consciousness i'm going to be observing myself i am observing i so to be aware of yourself what do you have to do simple way that we have been talking about is to be aware of your imagination whatever is going on in your imagination so you have to try and observe your imagination and particularly try and observe the desire the thought and the expectation in the imagination any desire that you have is associated with a feeling so ultimately you are going to be observing the feeling the thought and the expectation at any moment most important in this is the feeling because whatever the feeling is based on that the thoughts seem to run and based on that is the expectation and ultimately that is what comes out in our behavior when we say we are controlling our behavior then somewhere we are not aware of what is happening within and we try to change our behavior on the outside so it may work one or two times three times but it doesn't seem to work in a very sustainable manner because inside the feeling is not right so if the feeling is not right the thoughts also go in that direction the behavior also naturally comes out in that direction but we stop it so you can notice that there is a conflict between 
you know, the feeling, the thought, the expectation, and the behavior. Now it is not flowing in one. So wherever there is some conflict within or conflict outside, it is disturbing. And it you have to put in a lot of effort to try to sustain it, and you will find you cannot sustain that. Ultimately, if you are expressing something else, but you are feeling something else, you are bound to be unhappy. And we will come to that. So we'll be observing the imagination going on at any moment in time, just the way it is, without trying to evaluate it, without trying to analyze it, without trying to stop it, without trying to change it. Okay, so this is what we are going to be doing. We are going to be trying to observe our imagination that is going on within us at any moment. Ultimately, we have to do this every moment, but we'll try to do it at various moments during the day, today, and see what we are able to observe without trying to change it, without trying to stop it, without reacting to it, without analyzing it, without evaluating it as of now, just to observe. This is what we'll do today. Okay, so um, we'll do this for today and we'll take your observations and sharings and questions tomorrow.